Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are transforming this gorgeous model into a stunning bride. So if you want to see how we did this or how I did this and keep watching. First off, we're starting with the vitamin E oil. I'm just going to use this to moisturize her lips. Now I'm moving into MAC Fix Plus. It's a hydrating spray and I just like to spray this over the face and then massage the product into the skin with a brush. Now I'm going into um, a heavier cream. So this is the Embryolis Cream Moisturizer. I'm using this one first because I'm going for a heavier coverage today with the makeup. You know, it's bridal makeup. You want to make sure it lasts. So I'm going in with the heavier cream to absorb the product and then I'm layering it with the Hydrate Moisturizer, which is a lightweight moisturizer. It's actually my collaboration with Miracle Beauty. If you're interested, you can check them out on Instagram. It's really an amazing product and it gives a beautiful glow to the skin. So I'm going to brush this all over the Embryolis Moisturizer. You can see it gives the skin a beautiful beautiful glow and just keeps the skin hydrated for a very long period so now I'm just massaging the rest of the product down to her neck because I mean if you're having that glow <laughs> on your face you want to make sure that you still follow through with the glow on the rest of the body so the ears the decolletage the shoulders every place that would be skin will be revealed you basically want to glow now I'm going to put a fan to it this is a CVO Beauty bladeless fan and I'm just going to make sure that everything is properly dried down now I'm patting in a translucent setting powder and this is the Fenty Beauty powder and I'm just patting this in the areas that I know she will get shiny so her t-zone basically so her forehead her cheeks her nose and then her chin so because I know that she's actually not going out today and this is just for a photo shoot and this is just for filming purposes I'm not really going to do anything to try to lock in the makeup but I'm making sure that I'm setting the areas just so that there's no shine now I'm shade matching and this I like to shade match around the chin because I find that it's closer to the neck and I always like to shade match the neck because that's the closest space to the face and then after finding the perfect shade shade and a perfect undertone I then go in to blend out the foundation with my foundation brush first I just find that a foundation brush helps to share out the product and then I don't get to I don't use too much product and then I can still place the product where I need it so I can still maximize my coverage without you know using too much product and I find that the beauty blender makes me use you know an excessive amount of product and you can see how beautiful her skin looks with very little coverage it still looks so beautiful so i'm just going to go ahead to blend out the rest of her face and apply the foundation on the rest of her face the type of motion i like to use with a brush is patting and like a sweep so it's like a pat and then sweep lightly i just find that it helps me to put on the coverage where i need it and it just helps to settle more into the skin as opposed to just you know dab 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 and then it starts to leave streaks all over the face so i really like this method The brush I'm using is from also from CVL Beauty Ghana. I'm going to put that link in the description box. So if you want to get the brushes, you can get them. They're really soft and they really just help me blend my foundation seamlessly. So I just like to pat, pat, pat so that I'm sure that I have enough coverage. And also you want to make sure you're bringing down that foundation to the neck. So there's no line of demarcation or separation. Because on a, on a person's wedding day, that's the day she's going to be mostly photographed. So you want to make sure that everything is well blended. Now I'm highlighting her face with the Kevin Aquan Sexual Skin Enhancer in the shade SX12 and I just like to spread out my concealer first with a brush before I then go in to blend with my beauty blender or my foundation brush whichever I will be using to blend out the product so now I'm first going in with my foundation brush because I really like I said I want to be able to share out the product lightly before going into place or pats the products in place with my beauty blender so i'm going around the edges of all the areas of all the areas that i place the concealer so the edges of underneath her eyes and every area basically just to make sure that it's completely merged with the foundation shade before i then go in with the beauty blender
now I'm going in with the beauty blender and I'm just tapping in the product I'm not sweeping I'm not brushing I'm just tapping the product I'm just bouncing beauty blender in one spot and that really just that motion enough is enough to blend out the product for me and I'm also I, I with my beauty blender I like to do like a push inward motion I don't know I just find that it helps me build coverage better so that's the type of motion I'm doing with the beauty blender so you just want to make sure you go around everything and make sure you blend till you can see no harsh lines. So now I'm contouring and this, the brush I'm using here is the Nuban Beauty, it's a Nuban Beauty brush, it's a Nigerian brand and I really like this brush, it's just a flat fluffy brush, I really like it for nose contouring and now I'm also going back into that same foundation brush and I'm using this to blend out the contour so I'm a bit, you know, not, I'm not too gentle when it comes to contouring that's probably what we're talking about there because I really want to make sure I get a proper blend so you know I, I do put in a bit of pressure and I push the product right in to the skin so you can see the motion I'm doing again it's a tapping and a sweeping somewhat uh, yeah if i feel like if you want to get detailed information you probably have to take a class with me so now i'm setting the under eyes with some powder this powder is from fenty beauty i really love this powder i love the undertone and i also love the finish it's very smoothing i'm just pressing this underneath her eyes and you know sweeping in areas where i feel like i'm applying excess powder i just sweep off the excess product i'm most the best thing i like to do is to push in the products underneath the eyes mind you don't sweep that's not a good motion I, I was only sweeping because i applied excess powder in certain areas but make sure you're tapping that product into the foundation or into the concealer to set it So now I'm applying a bit of powder underneath her cheekbones just to carve out her cheekbones some more. Our model is looking beautiful. So we're yet to set her contour and now I'm going in to set the contour. So my favorite brush to set the contour or set the rest of the face is a flat fluffy brush. This one is from Black Up. It was gifted to me a while back. I really love this brush. So I think, I think it's about... I think it's a little bit pricey but if, if you can get your hands on it it's a really good brush to invest in so I'm setting her face with two powders one is just a regular powder with really good coverage and the other one is a mineralized powder with a bit of shimmer in it so it, you know it still helps her keep that luminous glow on her skin so now I'm just set setting her contour with the luminous powder this is the Mac a MAC bronzer in Sun Power. It really just gives a nice warmth to the face and I, re I really love this one. It's one of my favorite bronzers for the cheekbones. So now I'm just patting in some mineralized skin finish powder underneath the eyes just to take away some of that, you know, cast from the powder and just make sure that I have a seamless blend from the contour or from the bronzer down to the highlight so this is what our model is looking like so far her face is already looking really snatched without anything so now i'm going to go in to contour her nose i'm using fenty beauty bronzer in mocha mami i really like this shade because it's a uh, it's a very neutral shade i i kind of find it a bit neutral so i think it really helps to contour and now i'm just going back in with the same brush that i used to blend out the under eye or set the under eye and i'm just blending out the edges now for a little contour i'm going into maybelline cacao and this is a very cool toned shade so it's very dark but it's cool tone and it helps to just contour and now we're going into the eyes who trying to catch my breath here okay so i'm going into my eyes and i'm using the p louise eyeshadow base i like to do eyes first before brows don't ask me why i just find that it's easier for me because especially if i've defined the person's brows it's so much easier Easier to do eyes first because you can carve out everything you need to carve out before then going into you know just doing lines with the brows so I'm patting in the product the concealer and the 
eyeshadow primer i like to do this because I, I find that i just like the texture of both of them mixed together i know a lot of people tend to have problems using the p louise base alone i find that when i mix it it works better for me so now i'm just blending in a warm brown shade i think i'm still using the same maybelline cacao the powder that i use in contouring i'm blending that into her crease with this same brush this brush is also from CVL Beauty. i think i would actually say that i really like their brushes so you guys should definitely check them out now i'm going into a deeper shade from um the jackie i know palette from um anastasia beverly hills i think this is the darkest brown shade there i'm sorry i don't know the name right now but i'll, I'll try to put details on the screen if i do find out and now i'm cutting the crease with um P. Louise eyeshadow base and you also want to make sure you are blending out that like because I really don't like a sharp cut crease I like to make everything soft like you know what I said in the beginning no lines of demarcation so I'm, go I'm going back into blend it and now I'm applying my shadow over it so this is a gold shade from the Anastasia palette this is my mother of feeling herself because she looks so damn good already <laughs> and now I'm just smoking that same brown shade that I applied in the crease underneath her eyes now we're lining her eyes with Mabrook a black coal pencil, one of my favorite black pencils in the market and then we're just smoking it. Now guys, there's a bit of confusion going on here now. So initially when my model came in, you know, we didn't realize that she was going to be on braids but you know, Wora was kind enough to allow us to take her hair out. So that's what's happening in the background, bear with me. So now I'm applying a bit of glitter. I'm using um, NYX glitter glue as a base to hold my glitter and I'm actually using chunky glitters. So I'm now placing the chunky glitters above on top of the glitter glue just for some extra sparkle so i realized that i wasn't you know my the glitter was falling onto the eyes that's why i just patted in some setting powder to catch the excess fallout and now i'm going in to line the eyes so sticking on lashes you know everything is coming to get that god i feel so bad for how my model looks right now you guys please bear with me so i'm applying a bit of mascara i don't know guys i've really been liking the zero mascara of late it's really good you guys should try it out if you haven't already beauty line by diddy pencil is a staple i really can't do without that stuff and i'm cleaning up the brows with um this Nuban beauty brush too which has actually become a fave for me i really can't do without setting the brows with my anastasia brow gel and now i'm because i just think that thing is amazing and now i'm just applying highlights with um this I don't know Japanese dupe brush it's not really a Japanese brush but, but I'll put the details of the highlights out there for you guys to see so we're finishing up with some lip gloss just get yourself a nice pink gloss and line it with MAC chestnut pencil and your look is completed this is the finished look my model looks stunning and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after she's done her hair So that's it guys i just really want to say a big thank you to everyone that participated on this shoot i'm going to leave details down below and also show you guys the final result of the pictures that we took i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time bye